there's no, like I said, we've been working on these problems. There's a lot of different ways for you guys to solve a problem. There's not one way that's the correct way to do the problem. So the main important thing, Miranda, that you need to do is just try things. Just th look at it. And remember, we're going to try to verify that our left side equals our right side. So we're going to verify this identity. So to do that, like I said, is, all right, well, huh. I always like to look for, you know, factoring or adding or, um, you know, certain thing operation that they're asking us to do. Well, here, I can't add these. They're not like terms. But I do know that tangent and sec or the tangent square and the secant square are what we call, um, with our Pythagorean identities, we can actually rewrite them, correct? So let's just go ahead and now, a lot of students like to rewrite everything in their identities. Let's just try to write one of them in their Pythagorean identities. Yes? Secant squared is 1 plus tan squared, so therefore it should be tan squared plus 4. Okay. And it's good that you actually may automatically visualize it. Some students aren't going to see that. So what I want you to do is just try to put one in there. So yes, let's put in, if, uh, well first of all, yeah, in your book, you know that secant squared is the same thing as tangent squared of theta plus 1. Okay, that is in your trig identities, which I told you guys, it's essential that you have these down and you, under, and you have them memorized. So you can easily translate secant squared to tangent squared plus one, right? Then, well, if I was going to combine my like terms, I can simply just add this, and I get tangent squared of theta plus four equals tangent squared of theta plus four. Does everybody say that? See now how the left side equals the right side? Yes? Now can I do it another way? Which way do you want to do the secant? Or are you going to do a different one? You subtract 3 minus 4, and then you get 10 equals 1. 10 there you equals go. 1 equals secant, so secant yeah. equals secant. What I was saying is you could also just put the 4 to the other side. Tangent of the square root of theta equals secant squared of theta um, minus 1. Well, what is secant squared of theta minus 1? In your trig identity, it's equal to tangent. Tangent squared, I'm sorry. You can do the opposite, too. Yep, you could have done it the other way to add or to get um, to 1. You could have done secant. There's multiple ways. The only way you guys are going to understand these and see the vision is just by trying. Okay? Why is the square root? Uh, 